Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 14. Write a program that has a user dependent function in accept the coefficients of a quadratic equation in variables and calculates its determinant. For example, if the coefficients are stored in the variables a, b, c, then calculate determinant as b square minus 4ac. Write the appropriate condition to check determinants on positive. 0 and negative and output appropriate result. Let us take three variables of type integer. A is equal to int and inside the bracket we will write input and in a double quotation mark we will ask the user to enter the value of A and the double quotation mark and close the brackets. Next B is equal to int input and in a double quotation mark we will ask the user to enter the value of b and the double quotation mark and closing brackets similarly c int input and in a double quotation mark we will write enter the value of c and the double quotation mark and close the brackets now we are going to write the function definition. Here I am going to write def is a keyword. Here I am going to write the name of the function as disc and we will take these three parameters and put colon as per the syntax of function definition. After this we have to give tab space that is called indentation. Here I am going to write t is equal to b square minus 4ac so d is determinant b square minus 4ac can be written as b square can be written as b double asterisk symbol that represent exponent that is 2 minus 4 into a into c so after evaluating this expression the value will be stored in a variable called d and this function has to return the value stored in d so here i'm going to write return d next here function definition will get over with alignment of this particular function definition i'm going to write one more variable called det that is determinant is equal to i'm going to call this function by passing these three arguments here i'm going to write ti sc and in a bracket a comma b comma c now here we are going to check out the condition i'll write if determinant is greater than 0 and here we need to put colon as per the syntax of if statement and after that we have to give indentation and here we need to print the appropriate message if determinant is greater than 0 then it should print the roots are real and different here i'm going to write in a double quotation mark the roots are real and different End the double quotation mark and close the bracket. Next, we will use L if statement to check out one more condition. Else, if the determinant is equal to 0 in such a situation with indentation, it has to print the roots are real and equal. The roots are real and equal. Next, if this condition is false, then at least else part must get executed. So here I'm going to write else and then colon with indentation space. You can write here print in a double quotation mark. The roots are imaginary. Now let us take output of this particular program. Here we have to run this program three times because we need to check out for roots are real and different and roots are real and equal and roots are imaginary here we will take different values for different outputs so let us write run one so once we execute this particular program it will ask the user to enter the value of a enter the value of b and enter the value of c so here i'm going to write enter the value of 
here i'm going to type one next it will ask the user to enter the value of b here i'm going to press two next it will ask the user to enter the value of c now i'm going to uh, type three here a is holding value one b is holding two c is holding three now here you can substitute the values of a b c in this particular expression to determine the value of d here i'm going to write d is equal to b square b square means 2 square so 2 to the power 2 minus 4 into a a is 1 c is 3 now simplify 2 to the power 2 gives me 4 minus 4 1s are 4 4 3 is a 12 so 4 minus 12 it will become minus 8 so here d is equal to minus 8 here you can check out this particular condition so determinant is greater than 0 no it is in negative value hence this condition is false then it is going to check out the next condition whether determinant is equal to 0 no which is less than 0 hence else part will get executed and it is going to print the roots are imaginary here it is going to print the roots are imaginary now i'm going to execute it one more time here i'm going to write run 2 again it will ask the user to enter the value of a here for example i'm going to enter 1 next it will ask the user to enter the value of b here i'm going to enter 4 next it will ask the user to enter the value of c and here i'm going to enter 4 now let us substitute the values of abc in this expression here i'm going to write d is equal to b square is what 4 square minus 4 ac so here 4 into a is 1 c is 4 further you can simplify 4 to the power 2 is 4 4 is a 16 16 minus 4 1s are 4. Next, 4 4s are 16. So here 16 minus 16 that gives me 0. So 0 is equated to D. Now you check out the condition. If D that is determinant is greater than 0, if it is false, then the control transfers to else if the determinant is what? 0 it is equal to 0. Hence, this condition is true. In that situation, the roots are real and equal will be printed. Here, it is going to print the roots are real and equal. So, next, let us execute third time. So, here it will ask the user to enter the value of A. For example, here I am going to enter 1. Next, it will ask the user to enter the value of B. Here, I am going to enter 5. Next, it will ask the user to enter the value of C. Here, I am going to enter 6. So, A is holding 1, B is holding 5 and C is holding 6. After this, so the function is called and it will be calculating this particular value so here d is equal to b square means that is 5 square next minus 4 ac so here i'll write 4 a is 1 c is 6 is equal to 5 to the power 2 that is 5 5 is a 25 minus 4 1 is a 4 4 6 is a 24 here 25 minus 24 that gives me 1. So here determinant D is equal to 1. Now we are going to check out this particular condition because whenever we call this particular function, so control transfers to this, it is going to calculate and return the value stored in variable D and it is equated to determinant. Now we are going to check out this particular condition. Whether determinant is greater than 0? Yes, 1 is greater than 0. Hence, it is going to 
print the roots are real and different it is going to print the roots are real and different now it's time to execute this particular program let us execute and check out the results now we have come to vs code uh, let us uh, click on new file and here i'm going to type lab 14 dot py and press enter here you can observe it is displaying lab 14 dot py now let us write a is equal to int then i'll write here input and inside the round bracket i'll ask the user to enter the value of a now i'm going to fast forward this particular part of the video so that we can save our time Now it's time to save this particular file by pressing Ctrl S. Now let us go to run, click on start debugging, click on Python debugger, click on Python file, debug the currently active Python file. Now you can observe in the terminal it is executing and it is going to ask the user to enter the value of A. Here I'm going to enter 1. Now it is asking the user to enter the value of B. I'm going to enter 2. Next, enter the value of C. I'll enter here 3 and press enter. Here you can observe it is displaying the roots are imaginary. This is the first run. Let us execute this particular program one more time. Click on start debugging here. Once again, it will ask the user to enter the value of A, B, C. Here I'm going to enter 1, 4, and 4 and press enter. Here you can see the roots are real and equal. Now, let us execute this program one more time here i am going to enter 1 5 and 6 you can observe here the roots are real and different i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video